And I think I read in the article that the ancestors chose you guys. Amen to that. So I believe that. What an honor, you know, to I even meet, the, meet you guys. Um, and speaking of God, I think the presence of God is obviously um, it's present in this movie. And for someone who has grappled with her faith a lot, I heard you say how I think it was during the last take you were praying like God like don't let my voice like mm. go out so I wanted to ask you how has the presence of God been with you guys throughout this journey um, Shit. yeah and feeling his presence on set like I just, yeah, I just want to tap into that because yeah my faith is uh, <laughs> not where it needs to be so I'd love to hear oh, that oh wow yeah. because of pain because of pain I just think because of pain you're yeah. saying I don't want to cry I'm not crying but it's yeah okay. I've just kind of been like I can't do this anymore. Like mm. those are the moments where you have to trust God the most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These moments are necessary because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sometimes we can get ahead of God, or we Ooh, try to yep, be God yep, yep, in yep. everybody's lives. And sometimes He says, "Okay, now you're doing my job. Mm-hmm. Are you not trusting me?" There is something that I heard someone say that when God has promised you something, do not rush the fulfillment of that promise. Yeah. And sometimes that's what we do. We rush the fulfillment, we want it so bad. Mm-hmm. We know what God has promised us and told us in our hearts, and we know it to be so. But you gotta not rush it. Because how horrible would it be for you to receive that thing and you not be ready? Mm-hmm. And you not be ready. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stay the course, Yeah. one foot in front of the other, yeah. one foot in front of the other, and that soon before you know it, life will turn around for your good. I'm going to tell you something. I want you to Google it when you walk out, please. you got to Google um, Bishop Bloomer Speaks into Fantasia's Life. I read about this. Okay, it's on but YouTube. But it broke my heart. Why? Because I just think, Why? Why do because we have, we have to go, we have to go through certain things. Because you wouldn't be able to appreciate. You, it. you sure know how many wouldn't. no's we've heard in our life. <laughs> you, I, there's so many testimonies we could share with you. Of, that no, but that that might come in a book later down the road. Oh. I ain't writing one. <laughs> we got too many. But we have way too many. But if we heard every yes that we wanted, we would not appreciate this moment. There's so. M- if you only knew some of the shit I went through at the top of this year as an actor. Where I, for the, first, uh, for the first time in my career, I wanted to quit. I've never felt that way. But I had to go through that to get to this moment so I can be more appreciative, so that I could know my worth, not wanted in somebody else. So I'm telling you, you got to go the course. There is a reason for your yes. pain. Yes. There's a reason that she went through everything that she went through. Because now her testimony is serving millions of people. Millions of people. So sometimes, unfortunately, we have to sacrifice and have some shit go down for the greater good. Yes. Without a test, you don't have a testimony. Look at everybody in the Bible, and I'm going to leave you alone. Look at everybody who was tested, all the greats. Abraham, God told him to go, yeah. and he took his own yeah. son. Yeah. You got to trust God to that point. It wasn't until the end where God said, Abraham, Abraham. He looked behind him, and he was like, I got, I have your sacrifice, not your son. I just wanted to see if you was going to trust me. I just wanted to see if you was going to trust me or give up on me or curse me. or that's right. Job, that's my favorite book in the Bible. I named my daughter Keziah because his daughter was named Keziah. Job was tested how many times? Yeah, and he everything. never gave up on God. I lost everything twice, but I never gave up on God because I knew he had me. I just had, it was necessary. It's necessary. So don't you give up your faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. The faith the size of a mustard seed, young lady. Even a half a mustard seed. Come on, baby. Don't you give up your faith. It be like Celie. She would talk, dear God, what's going on? What's good? Be like David. Yes, David right. would talk to God like we talk to each other. What's up, God? I need you to show up and show out. You mean anything? Go on, say hell no. You can be who you are That's to right. God. Hell no to your fear, to losing your faith. Yes. I don't see it, girl. It. But thank you. Girl. I, think this is, I think God sent me to you. Thank you so much. That's yes, really baby. Helpful. 
Oh, God, I didn't know. Oh, it's my gosh. It's all good. I didn't know it's this all happen. good. It's uh, all good. Can we talk about joy? Yes. Oh, we have to wrap up. Oh, oh it's how about give us happy. a hug? Yes, yes. please, yes. yes. Come, 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 come. Come, baby. Yeah.